Welcome everyone, Evan Yo here and today in this video we're going to be talking about Vite. Vite is a new build tool that I've been working on since past since last year and we consider it to be the next generation of front-end tooling. So in this video we're going to be talking about what is Vite, why Vite, and we'll show you how to get started with it and walk through some of the cool features that Vite provides out of the box. So let's get started. First, what is Vite? If we go to the website, Vite is the French word for fast. Okay, so um, some some may pronounce it as Vite, but uh, it's actually the French word for fast. So it's we, we pronounce it as Vite. So Vite is a build tool. It comes with a dev server and also bundles your code for production. So uh, if you've used Vue CLI before, you can think of it as a loose equivalent to Vue CLI, just leaner and faster. Uh, the problem that V is trying to solve, really, is just this feedback loop speed, the feedback speed during development. If you've used Vue CLI, especially in a large project, you probably are used to uh, waiting for half a minute or even up to a minute for your dev server to spring up. and when the project gets larger, hot module replacement gets slower as well. Just editing a single file, you may have to wait a few seconds for things to update on the screen. Now, um, a lot of these problems are fundamentally caused by the re uh, by the need for bundling. And why do we have bundlers? Because in the old days, before we had native ES modules, uh, there's no way for the browser to actually support these modular modularized code. So um, in the early days, we invented model systems like AMD or CommonJS, and we wrote our source files in those formats and let tools like Webpack, Parcel, or uh, Browserify to bundle these codes so that finally they becomes a single file that can be run in the browser. Now, luckily, today, most modern browsers natively supports ES modules. This means uh, during development, there is an, a large chunk of work that we no longer need to do um, because the browser can now handle them natively. So uh, the premise of Vite during development is we are going to author our code as native ES modules. And the browser will, par uh, will take these ES modules and then parse the file and look for your import statements and then send HTTP requests for each module uh, to the dev server. And the dev server just serve these modules as is uh, with very lightweight processing. So a lot of work is done by the browser natively, which is why there's little preparation that we need when we start up the server. Another aspect of it is um, if you have large dependencies, V12 smartly pre-bundle them using, using ES build to reduce the number of requests that the browser needs to make to your dev server. Now, this bundling process is done with ES build Yes, Build is a tool, uh, excellent tool written by Evan Wallace, uh, the CTO of Figma, and um, Yes, Build is written in Go, which is a compiled to native language. So it is of orders of magnitude faster than equivalent bundlers that's written in JavaScript. Um, so with these factors combined, Veed provides you with a extremely fast and lean uh, development experience. All right, so. Enough for why Vite. I think the fastness, the how fast Vite is can only be experienced uh, when you actually try it yourself. So let's do that now. I'm going to switch to my terminal here and to get started with Vite, uh, first make sure you have Node.js and npm installed on your system. So once you have that, simply run the command npm init at vjs slash app. So this will now ask you for a project name. So I'm just going to say, hello, Vite. And it will ask you to select a framework. Surprise, Vite is actually framework agnostic. So it's not just for Vue. So even if you um, are using React or Preact, uh, you can actually use Vite to, to run those frameworks as well. Um, in fact, in, for this first demo, we're not going to use any framework at all. So we're just going to go with a vanilla template uh, we also provide you with uh, TypeScript support out of the box. Um, so, but for now, we're going to just pick the vanilla. So I'm going to CD, hello Vite. And before we do anything, it does ask you to install NPM dependencies. But before we do anything, I'm going to open up my editor. 
and just take a look at the folder structure as you can see this is extremely minimal we have an index html um, the index html has a script type equals module with a source pointing to main.js, which is right here next to it. Now, we can actually run this with any simple HTTP server um, without any special features. This is valid syntax for native ESM usage, right? Uh, and inside here, we see something special. We have, we are importing some CSS. So we're going to be talking about CSS just in a minute. And now let's, let's look at package.json. As you can see, Vite is the only dependency that we need here. Um, and we have a few NPM scripts. We have a dev script, we have a bell script, and we have a serve script. So very straightforward. So let's run NPM install now. I'm going to be uh, running NPM install. And as you can see, the installation is extremely fast. There are total 13 packages installed. That's how lean Vite is. Um, so I, I don't think I have Vite cache locally here. So uh, this install is actually legit from the, the registry. So that took less than a second, right? Uh, and now I can run npm run dev and start the server. And that also didn't take long. So now we have a local server running. So I'm going to be opening this. And as we can see, hello, Vite. Okay, so that is the vanilla dev server. And uh, if we go back to our code, notice that um, this is really not different from a simple um, HTTP server. There's nothing special going on here. But um, the cool part is if we rename this to TypeScript and change this to TypeScript. And I'm going to, well, it actually already reloaded, but I'm going to restart the server just to make sure this works, right? So it still works, right? Uh, inside a V project, you can, in fact, um, I'm going to move this around. Inside a V project, you can, in fact, link directly to TypeScript files and V will transpile it automatically. Now, this, this means TypeScript works out of the box. Now, one thing important to know here is that uh, TypeScript in Vite is transpile only, which means um, Vite does not do any type checking for you. So uh, one of the reasons we do this is first, we are using ESBuild to transpile the TypeScript files. Again, ESBuild was written in Go, so it is in fact uh, up to 30 times faster than transpiling your TS files with TypeScript itself, which is written in JavaScript, right? Uh, so when we are using um, ESBuild to transpile, uh, ES, because it doesn't do type checking, so if you're importing a type, make sure to do import type from another file. So this is one thing people kind of get tripped up on, but um, when, when you're using this, we believe this is a really, really small price to pay. Uh, in order to get this greatly improved performance when you have a large TypeScript project. Another reason why uh, we opt to do transpile only and do not do type checking inside V is because if you have a properly set up uh, IDE like VS Code with tsconfig in your project, likely you already get all the TypeScript type checking in hints directly in your, in your IDE. So um, TypeScript is already running as part of your IDE, right? So um, Essentially, Vite says, okay, we'll leave that to your IDE and your build process, but during development, Vite is not going to concern itself with type checking, right? Because we already have other tools handling that part. Um, great, so uh, that is TypeScript. Another important aspect of this. Um, so as we can see, we can actually import CSS right here. So let's look at the CSS here. Um, I'm going to be changing the color here. Let's say red. As you can see, it updated instantly. And notice the address bar here, green. Notice there's actually no reload. I'm going to um, open the elements pane here and inspect this, right? So now let's edit again. 
As you can see, the page did not reload. This is hot updating. This imported CSS is being loaded in the head here. As you can see, it's here. So if we edit it, this is hot updated right here without loading the page. Now this is the starting to get into the magical territory of V because um, a native, uh, a simple basic HTTP server does not do this for you. There's no hot reloading. Uh, there's no automatic page reloading. For example, um, if I update my TypeScript here, um, so here's the hello V. I'm going to just add two of these. Right. So this reloads the page because there's no specific logic that's set up in this project to handle TypeScript file updates. But CSS hot reloading works out of the box. Now, um, we're, we're going to be talk about a bit more CSS later, but uh, now I also want to show off one thing, right? So we are used to uh, importing, installing dependencies and using dependencies from NPM. For example, I want to use Lodash. Um, so I'm going to say import um, debounce from Lodash. Yes. Right. So in an actual browser, where, uh, uh, without any pre processing, this code will not work uh, if this is a native ES module that's served to the browser. One of the reason being that um, the browser doesn't really know what is NPM. It doesn't know where to resolve dependencies, right? So to the browser, this is what we call an invalid specifier, okay? But V knows how to handle it. Um, so let's install. I'm going to open up a new tab here, and I'm going to say NPM install load-es. So we installed that, and um, I'm going to restart the server. And we can run dev. Uh, oops. So now we have lodash yes. Um, you see the IDE actually figured out we install lodash yes, so it now has type definitions. And if we go into the browser, I'm going to log just to see if we have the debounce element. So look at the console. Yes, we do get the debounce function uh, from lodash which is great. Um, so yeah, so Vite also handles NPM dependencies for you. Now, one of the cool thing here uh, is if we look at the debounce, if we look at the network, um, whoops, uh, make it smaller. As you can see, uh, Vite actually combined Lodash ES, which is a collection of many small modules into a single file, so it loads faster. Uh, than it normally would if you load Lodash ES over native ES modules. So another uh, important detail for performance during development. Okay, so that's NPM dependencies.